Also, hi, Joey. I asked you earlier if you wanted to go for walkies, and you didn't respond. Why is this... Hello? There we go. Sorry, I was making food? Oh. I thought you just didn't want to go for walkies with me. Hold on, chat. Can I can I like show you something, chat? Every time I hear Every time I hear the the fucking main menu theme for uh for uh, uh Peace Walker, hold on. Don't Twitch let me have more streaks. What do you mean? Did you reach like I guess I haven't seen you or anybody else with a really high streak in a while. What happened to those? Hold on. I'm going back to game select. I want to show you guys something. No four since your birthday. Um. Okay, worth noting. You can't do that. Good to know. You can't go back to game select without crashing your PlayStation Three. Good to know. So like every time I'm on this menu and like, like this is the MGS3 song, right? This plays in the main menu, right? And this plays in the main menu for MGS2. Right, this like, this is cool, right? But what is this? This doesn't play anywhere in that game. And every time I hear the like opening note for it, I think it's uh, uh, this song, which I think was used in one of the Ground Zeroes trailers. Anyway, I always think of that, uh, that first song. Sorry, I didn't mean to like play the whole trailer. There's probably spoilers in there, but I just couldn't help myself. What the fuck? This Eclipse Donut is so sticky. It's like covered in something sticky. Fisher's Honor? Good. Anyway. Let's do more Peace Walker. I'm probably not going to do much of the side stuff because uh, this is kind of a long game if you do all the side stuff. Boss, what were you? Sometimes you guys say stuff and I can't read it not in like Kazahira Miller's voice. Boss, what were you doing with that donut? You don't want to know. I think MGS5 would kind of break you, Marcy, so I'm excited for you to get to that one. All right, armored uh, battle with the LAV type G. Vehicle unit, Snake. Either destroy the vehicle or neutralize the soldiers. Take it out. No, I just want you to experience the whole breadth of human uh, emotions. I don't know if I can, um, I don't know if I can uh, do this non-lethally.
Might just have to go rocket launcher mode and kill. I, I make myself tiny for this. I swallowed my water wrong. Ugh. The accompanying <laughs> officers are armed to the teeth. Watch yourself. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Imagine reforging broken girl things. That's all I do. <laughs> Ugh. You know what? I think you're right. I think you're right, actually. I think you're right, Violet. That sounds like something I remember. They should all have things in them that will make them fall asleep eventually now. There we go. I'm mad that everyone is right about what? Well, yeah, I, there's a reason I kept telling you to do it. I wasn't just being funny. I wasn't playing some prank on you. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. I'm mostly doing that so that the guys won't show back up. Marcy, you've got to accept that when uh, when, pe when a lot of people are telling you something, they're saying it because they like they fully believe it will be correct and right for you. Like, <clears throat> like if a lot of people are telling you, "Hey, I think you'd enjoy this game," they're probably right. If a lot of people are telling you, "Hey, you should do this thing; it would make you feel better," when you say that something makes you feel bad, they're probably right. They're saying this because they care about you and they like you. Also rotten that's way easier to do <clears throat> do you think you'd be happy doing that
up. God damn it. Shoot that exposed fuel tank. The red one. <clears throat> You've got to neutralize that armored vehicle somehow. The accompanying soldiers are armed to the teeth. Watch yourself. Uh, okay. Are you serious? Okay. <clears throat> You've got to neutralize that armored vehicle somehow. <sighs> the accompanying soldiers are armed to the teeth. Watch yourself. Yeah, you would think Mercy would eat a bunch given a feedy, but or given being a feedy, but no, no, it does not. You're not silly, you just need to learn to trust other people and listen to them more. Nobody's like out to get you or trying to convince you to do something that, you know, is bad. Well, the truck ran over that one guy. We're doing with Dark Souls in part, yes. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. <sighs> Truck saw me, didn't it? Yep. God damn it. Why do you think I, I picked out the games for you in the order I picked them out in, Marcy? I know. You think this isn't all part of my master plan that I'm not the puppet master here? You're pretty good. I don't know where I shot the guy that made him instantly fall asleep, but. God damn it.
That makes me sound a lot more evil than I, I was being. I warned you Madoka goes pretty hard. I told you Madoka goes hard. I warned you ahead of time. By the way, chat, this big armored car is called the Peace Sentinel. Because, you know, when I think, uh, when I think peace, I think of, uh, giant armored tanks. Another chat member known for having a piss fetish. Go non lethal takedown. Wahoo. by just bringing it up. Unfortunately, I don't play enough farming games for that moon lily. I thought you had to shoot down the other one. I couldn't remember. I thought you had to shoot down the other one because if you shot the uh, the, the the one that she's on down, then uh, it like shoots her on the way down or something. Yeah. 
my mistake. Amanda. Chico. What? What is it? Can you roll me one? Hmm? Tobacco. Oh, yeah. Chico. Hold still. Also, Princess, nice to see you're still here. I tweeted him like a kid again. We fought. I didn't want Chico to know. Kept it a secret. Sinosa's Guardia chased us out of Nicaragua. Reading about Helldivers 2? It's very fun. It's a very good game. I love it. I actually have played uh, less of it than I would have liked to during the subathon so far. Uh, Amanda. The factory. He rolls his own cigars Sorry. now. He didn't used to. Banana factory. A front. It's a drug refining plant. The KGB set it up for us to run. We use the income to buy food and weapons. Uh, uh, mi viejo never said a word, but we all knew. Oh, everyone except Chico. Oh no. Everything oh no, her leg is super weapons, broken. A compass. Uh oh. He brought it all together. We were going to rebuild our country. Rebuild Nika with our own hands. Even if we had to dirty our hands to do it. But it's all over. We lost our cacique. Papa. I wish I could x-ray vision a girl. Never replace him. Now they've taken the hot. land from us too. There's no place left to regroup. No way to fight la revolucion. Here. I rolled you one. A lot of good reasons you? not to. Like what? You're going after that cargo? Yeah. Must be important, hmm? Hmm. Looks that way. It looks like it could be nukes. What? Nukes? Wish I could x-ray William Johnson? I mean, it's called Twitter, and you can go follow him on it if you want, but... That's up to you. The transport route leads there. It must be where they're holding Chico and my compass, too. Whenever Chico and I argue, he goes off to be by himself. That's why he knows more than anybody about their bases. He... I mean, I can, uh, I can, I can help you out on all of those fronts, Princess. Uh, it doesn't crash super often. Like, it's... There are bugs, but they get worked out pretty quickly. Um, there is no FOMO. Uh, all of the, all of the microtransaction type stuff is there forever. There, there is absolutely no FOMO. Um, and, uh, uh, the microtransaction stuff in it, you can get, like, I got it in-game earlier for free, uh, without ever having to, like, like, you just, you get it just by playing the game. You just find this stuff in the game. Like, you can find the microtransaction currency in the game uh, very, very, very easily. Like, to the point that I kind of don't ever see why you would spend money on it. If you play the game, there it's, like, just around on the maps. Like, again, to, to a degree that I'm, like, it feels, like, broken. Like, I shouldn't be getting this much, but... But there is a dystopian setting. There's not much to do about that. Although it's, like, a Starship Troopers-type ironic dystopian setting. But, yeah, it is, like, a... Like uh, that. Oh yeah, there's a lot of it. I have gotten all of the battle passes without spending any money. We gave up our homes, but we're still alive. Um, the community's good though. All we're the randoms I played with are good, but also like you can play with us, and with the with it, with this community. All like a lot of us play it, so. Uh, I feel alive again. So if any of those sway you, you know, those are options, Amanda, but join my unit until you've healed up. Your unit? Yeah. 
Yeah. Get into this community, Why princess. Uh, one, because I want you here. Snake. Uh, but two, uh, Serpente. we, uh, we, uh, uh, our whole thing is, uh, uh, we have like a really big gaming community here that hangs out with everybody. Please be the great Don't let me leave, you got it. Has come to lead us. Anyway, Amanda is currently, uh, Amanda in game is currently having a uh, fever dream fatigue vision, seeing me as like the savior of Nicaragua. Kaz, can you hear me? MSF here. One for recovery. She's wounded. Acknowledged. Kaz. Wait, really? Yeah, it's large. funny. I was right. It's headed for it, the it, It's like a, a Starship Troopers uh, satire of like American, sure like, uh, it, like uh, colonialism and, you know, like uh, fascism and shit like that. Um, and a bunch of uh, dumb assholes are only just now realizing that it is not on their side. It is making fun of them. Dun, dun. Yeah, it's over the top satire. Snake, Amanda's reached the plant. Too late. Princess Snake. is already in 17 glue Amanda, traps. How do you feel? Perfectly happy if it's my last. As you can see, she's doing fine. I set Amanda up with her own frequency, so call her anytime you need to. If you have any questions about American bases or mercenary units, or about design specs for tortilla base, chips, yeah. Just ask. And please, do not forget my compass and Chico. Don't worry. It's good to be working with you, boss. That explains the sticky situation. No, that's just my cum. It's just kind of everywhere. Sorry. POWs you bring back to Mother Base. How this outfit gets built depends on who we assign to what jobs. That'll determine how Mother Base grows. It's one of your most important. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, I know. Uh, there's a reason you are my girlfriend, babe. There's a reason that you. Uh, there's a reason Boss, you know me. One more thing. Now what? <laughs> you think it makes the glue? Ew! Sick or injured like we did with Amanda. Hate the idea that I've got glue-based cum. Treatment. Uh -huh. So I figure we'll need a medical team for that. The number of team members and their abilities will determine how quickly the sick and injured heal. They can also monitor everybody's health. Right. Prevention is the best medicine. You got it. Remember to wash your hands often and gargle twice a day, boss. If only I had the time. So yeah, now sometimes my soldiers will get wounded, or if I take them out on a battle, they can get wounded. Uh, and we have a medical team. Tortilla chips, let's go! Being reasoned with in the brig due to intense hostility. God damn it, guys, why are you so mad? Oh yeah, also the um the higher your medical team is, uh the higher your medical team is, the uh uh the more tranquilizers you can make, which is nice. I need to put everybody in the waiting room that I can reassign them all. This is the only annoying part of this game is that if somebody is like better at medical, but they've already been auto assigned because you didn't have medical unlocked and they've already been auto assigned to like combat because that was their second highest thing. Uh, you have to uh, you have to put them all in the waiting room and reassign them uh, to get it done automatically. You could micromanage it, but that's not who I am. I'm not a micromanager. I like to just order people around. No 
all three of these guys are combat team. Alright, All right, waiting room. Auto assign. Yeah, I'm a big picture thinker, exactly. Lungfish is a fucking doctor? Okay. Unless I have multiple lungfishes. Holy shit, lungfish is a doctor, chat. I mean, how long will that take, Marcy? Surely picking them up isn't gonna take five hours. Like, you can always join us for later, after you get back. You can come back after the two hours. Or you can join us after the two hours. Oh, I guess I lied. That song does play here. It plays on the mission select. I'll be back at like 10, what, 10 my time? Well, in that case, you can play for the first three hours. I'm, I'm confused. If it takes two hours, then you'll have to leave at eight my time. So then we're starting at five, so you can play for the first three hours. We're, we're playing two hours from now. So like, that should give you time to play. Wait, really? Yeah. Did you just see you had to do a thing and just be like, ah, oh, well, the whole thing's off. Did you just not even think about the time? You just saw it was in the time slot somewhere. It was like, ah, I probably won't be able to do it now and not think about it. Yes, uh-huh. That's what I thought. Uh, we're going to play. Uh, we're going to do a content warning with uh, uh, Joey, Deer and Marcy. We're gonna do content warning with Joey Deer and Marcy. Marcy will have to leave in the middle of it. Then at 10 o'clock, when Marcy gets back from picking up roommate, we will um, we will uh, uh, we will do uh, Dark Souls on Marcy's stream. Anyway, time to fucking go get Chico. But without a guide, it's going to be tough tracking those things in the mountains. So we need you to infiltrate one of their bases, a prison facility. I hope nothing's happened to Amanda's brother. I hear you. There may be other Sandinistas held there too. To bring them back safely to MSF, use the. Uh, I don't, system. Joey. As I'm sure you know from experience, it's completely harmless. After all, you won't have time to sit there and convince every single one of them to join. One other thing, Snake. Amanda. CIA bastards confiscated some of the houses in the village. Chico's got to be inside one of them. Houses, huh? How do I tell which ones? When they took over the houses, they installed new front doors for security purposes. The new doors are blue, with peepholes, so you can see what's inside. Blue doors. Got it. You're getting close to the end of the transport route. Good luck, Snake. Miller, do you have anything new? Uh, a great leader, enemy soldier types, and battle range. Oh, great leaders. Okay. So I hear Amanda mistook you for Che Guevara, Snake. That's not too bad, huh? Yeah, right. I'm not even worthy of polishing his boots. Don't be so modest. From where I'm standing, your men see you as a great man. <laughs> as great as the century's most complete human being. That's Sartre, right? Well, there's hardly been a more iconic figure of his times than Che. Oh, he was more than that. He was a true revolutionary and a great warrior. I'm with you there. Can you believe that when he first went to Cuba with Fidel, they had only 12 guys with them? But they rallied. They brought in new recruits. 
won the support of the peasants, expanded their organization. And in the end, they overthrew the Batista regime. People flocked to them because they were honest. They won because they were strong. Those are the qualities that make men great. You know, we're kind of in the same boat they were back then. Here we are, a handful of mercenaries taking on an army backed by the United States. Yeah, we've got a long way to go. <laughs> but we've got to keep on going. It's not just about yeah, winning the, the and Yeah, the Che Guevara parallels uh, with uh, Peace Walker are very intentional. Got it. There's a reason Amanda sees you as L, L. Che when she uh, is having a fever dream and looks up. Boss, did you ever read Che Guevara's book, Guerrilla Warfare? I can't remember if I got to that one or not. You should have. That's why I lent it to you. A lot of the guerrilla tactics it covers apply to sneaking missions, too. Che was one of the first people to articulate the theory of guerrilla warfare. T.E. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia, was another one. And Mao Zedong and his On Protracted War, theory aside. I can't believe this Nicaragua's game got released. General Sandino <laughs> was one of the first to put guerrilla Not only was it released, it was practice, pretty heavily promoted for a PSP game. Name themselves after him. If you it wasn't like it, some obscure game nobody played. It's been around since ancient times. There's only so many ways a small group can upset a large army. It's considered one of the uh, one of the best PSP games ever warfare. made, too. No kidding. Sunoki Masashige. Hell yeah. He was a warrior who lived in the medieval era. He used unconventional tactics to help overthrow the Kamakura Shogunate. Like what? Trojan horse style maneuvers and decoys to confuse the enemy. The best one was when the enemy was climbing the castle walls. He dumped boiling water and human excrement on them. Huh. Sounds great. Let's put it in the MSF playbook. You're not serious, are you, boss? Why not? We've got plenty of crap to unload. Uh, yeah. I'll think about it. Boss is a little unhinged. Snake has become a little unhinged uh, 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 about uh, uh, after running a whole PMC by himself. The year the Cuban Revolution was won. Che visited Japan as a member of an economic delegation. While he was there, he visited Hiroshima. He's not Hiroshima. quite that unhinged Since he yet. Was there to discuss economic issues. Hiroshima wasn't part of the original itinerary. Some said the Ministry of Foreign Affairs didn't want to let him go, but he went anyway. He snuck out of his hotel and took an overnight train. Huh. Traveling guerrilla style. Sounds like Che, all right. He visited the Peace Memorial Museum and the Atomic Bomb Survivors Hospital. Apparently, it gave him quite a shock. As a doctor, it must have been painful for him to see how the victims suffered. Nukes destroy everything. He was quoted as saying, They put you through this, and still you do whatever America says. Those words really hit me hard. Especially when I think of my mom. He said something else, too. Let us all love Hiroshima and its people. I can believe it. Che never managed to numb himself to other people's pain. That's why people loved him. And why he died. I know surprisingly little about Che Guevara. This game made me want to look into him more, but I never did. That bandana you're always wearing. That thing's a real antique. Ever think about getting a new one? This one's fine. Come on, we can't have our boss wearing a raggedy old thing like that. It was a gift, okay? Wouldn't be right to get rid of it. It was. Okay, then. Speaking of which, Che supposedly had a black scarf he used to take everywhere with him. A scarf? One of his comrades gave it to him when he broke his arm in battle. Che used that silk scarf as a sling, and the comrade who gave it to him became his second wife. Alida, right? Even after his arm healed up, he never went anywhere without that scarf. What about you? You get that bandana from someone special? No, nothing like that. It's... it's important to me that's all you got it from the boss snake what are you talking about amanda and her crew tell me they've managed to identify several different categories of mercenaries employed by the cia give me a rundown sounds like info i could use no problem I'll go through them in order. The type of enemy you'll be seeing most is the type that patrols and guards a specific operational area. For the sake of convenience, Amanda's crew calls the outdoor ones patrolmen. 
and the indoor ones guards. They might look like they're just out for a stroll, but don't be fooled. They're sharper than they look. All of their senses are finely honed. Normally, they'll patrol along fixed routes, but when the alert level is raised, they'll assume a more efficient alert posture and focus on defending specific points. That's bad for you. Obviously, they can hold their own in combat, and with body armor, it'll be even harder to take them down. If they're wearing a bulletproof helmet, you can forget about one-shot kills. Just a heads up. You'll need to be smart about using camo and pick your routes. The most important thing is to avoid detection. When the enemy spots you and goes on alert, they may call in a backup strike team. These assault teams are heavily armed, well-trained, and highly dangerous. Amanda's crew calls them commandos. Unlike the patrolmen, these guys will actively, relentlessly track and hunt you down like hounds. Hmm. <laughs> hounds to hunt a former foxhound. Bring it on. They won't give up easily, even if they lose sight of you. They'll clear out any likely hiding places they come across. So don't get too comfy in one spot, or you might get caught again. Keep your eyes fixed on them and what they're doing. Also, be aware that commando gear includes body armor, so don't think you can deal with them by going in guns blazing. Hi, All dear. I've got to do is find How an exposed you? weak point and... Exactly. There are areas out there where enemy soldiers are deployed in multiple layers for extra Are you excited courage. to play a uh, content More warning a later? A few of those will be attacking you from a distance. Rooftops and far off vantage points. Try not to get too distracted That's by me. nearby enemies because you could be leaving yourself That's my wide full open legal to name. longer range attacks. I'm I'll good. be careful. I am feeling good today. I woke up, I, I slept a little late, but I'm feeling good. I'm trying to get better first? That's Enemy fair. Enemy tanks, armored vehicles, and attack choppers are always accompanied by a combat squad. The soldiers aren't particularly tough on their own. What makes them formidable? is how well they work together as a team. As if you didn't have enough to worry about with a machine. Good. I like a challenge. Yeah. We'll see how you feel when you actually have to face them in battle. Snake, whatever you do, don't let them surround you. The last thing you need is to get pushed into the vehicle's kill zone. And pay attention to what your enemies say to each other. You can improve your chances by figuring out what they're planning and using it to preempt their movements. You don't always have to go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to win a fight. Think like a gorilla. Got it. We know there are variations in the kinds of gear patrolmen and commandos wear, especially the body armor. Our scouts report that an enemy's defense and firing accuracy are directly proportional to how heavy their gear is. Hmm, those must be the guys with the highest combat skills. They can fight in heavier gear without their performance suffering. Supposedly, it's pretty easy to tell the difference in gear just by looking. So remember, use extra caution when dealing with enemies wearing heavy gear. Okay. Enemies will try to fight you from different distances based on the weapon they've got equipped. When you meet an enemy, get a good look at what they're carrying. It can make or break your chances in battle. Stern Limon, uh, Bananal Fruta de Oro, Sorting Shed and Farm. There's a lot of banana cultivation along Costa Rica's Caribbean coast. The area is dotted with banana plantations. Bananas have been Costa Rica's main It is crop wild to me how much, like, in the fucked up century. shit happens they just around bananas. A, of foreign currency. a real Fruta de Oro, huh? See. Si. But exporting all those bananas require a ton of land. Hence, all the plantations. Clearing all that forest just to grow bananas robs animals of their habitats. I do not know how good that is for Costa Rica in the end. It's just weird because I think of bananas as just like a nice, happy, simple thing. And like, no, there's been like bloodshed over them. Panama disease was rampant here about 20 years ago putting a lot of banana plantations out of business. Panama disease? It is caused by a type of fungus. 
Apparently, a killer I don't know the history of sugar. banana species that used to grow here. How could that happen? Cultivated bananas do not produce seeds. You have to remove and transplant part of the stem yourself. You plant them in the fields. So you've got acres of identical plants? See, when one plant is infected, the disease spreads quickly. Species lacking genetic diversity become weak. They grow different bananas today. One said to be resistant to Paloma disease. The gross Michelles. Goodbye. Yeah, alright. Now we have to listen to all of Amanda's files. Since it was founded, my country has not once been able to choose its own path. First Spain, then America. Over 100 years of this. I know. A Balotro reference, century, let's go! An American mercenary named William Walker seized power in Nicaragua. I'd heard he exploited rivalries between the political parties. Even after we expelled him, the Americans sent in their marines under the pretext of quelling political unrest. And the real reason. I'm sorry, to dear. the government and thwart the construction of the Nicaragua Canal. Thankfully, mine does not anymore, but uh, there is reasons for that. Uh, I can't. I kind of can't avoid seeing it. I thought the U.S. already has the rights to build a canal in Nicaragua. They never intended to build a canal there. They'd already started digging in Panama. A canal in Nicaragua would break up the Panama Canal's monopoly. You got Reason it. My dead name is Twitch. You got me. Our affairs. They snagged the rights so nobody else could build there. It was General Sandino who finally stood up to Los Yankees. General Sandino waged a guerrilla war against the Marines, at last driving them out. He was a true hero, and to us Sandinistas, like a father. But when they pulled out, the Americans left us something to remember them by. The National Guard. Yes, La Guardia. In name, a peacekeeping force. But in reality, Commander Somoza's personal army, answering to no one else. Unable to stay silent? General Sandino went to protest and was assassinated by Somoza as he made his way home. It was then that Somoza and Los Sapos began to eat our country alive from the inside. Her dead name is Kick, that's why it's a dead name. True! It has been 40 years since the Somoza family became the rulers of Nicaragua. With La Guardia at their command, no one can challenge them. You came here on the run from the National Guard, right? See, si. They took everything. Our land, our homes, our jobs. Now belong to Somoza. See, si. The law, too. He's even got the judges in his pocket. You defy him, you face death. Everyone bows at scrapes before La Guardia. Even then, you might get a beating if they are in a bad mood. And you're trying to change things. That's not all. These Samosas have used their power to line their pockets. They confiscate people's land and hand it to members of the Samosa family. By now, close to half the farmland in Nicaragua is theirs. I don't know enough in, uh, about South American Did history you? to know if any of this you is true. The earthquake two years ago? I want to assume it yeah. is, but I don't know I if these the characters were made up are. for this game. We so. Lost Managua, our capital city. People sent aid from all around the world. Tears of sorrow turned to tears of joy. Yet almost all of it was embezzled by the Semosas. They sold out those who'd lost everything for money. They feasted on our country's suffering. Public resentment is at the boiling point. The Somoza's days are numbered. We will see to it. The problem is when you don't know that, like, when, when they're making Metal Gear, I know I know Metal Gear uses a lot of, uh, uses real history, but the problem is there's, like, small points where the history diverges or where they, like, make up a character and insert them into the events of stuff. And when you know the history, it's really easy to go, okay, well, they're just making up this character to connect it to the game and to, like, the story of the game. But I don't know the history, so, like, Samoza sounds so comically evil that I'm like, all right, I, for a long time, I was like, all right, they made up this guy and add, to, like, add him to the game. Like, to connect him to the story. But I, I guess he wasn't. The first Samosa, 
was originally no more than the commander of La Guardia. Ordinarily, a man of his station could never hope to become president. But the president at the time had no power to back him. The only one with the strength to oppose him was General Sandino. No, better to say the general was the only one who dared oppose him. There was nothing special about him. Above all, it takes a strong will to see justice done. That is what he taught us. Mm -hmm. It's also what motivated Somoza to have him killed. Yes. The rest was easy. He got rid of the president, taking office in a sham election. And once he had the power, he never gave it up. Talk about heavy-handed. He had the Americans backing him, that's why. They didn't want to hand over power to a rebellious general. Even so, it's hard to believe Washington would give its blessing to a guy like that. The American president- Is it hard? Put it this way. Is it? Somoza may be a son of a bitch, but he's our son of a bitch. Actually, no, in yeah, that, words, that sounds just about right for Washington. Dog or Los Sapos than an anti-US regime. You say, it's not that hard. Also real quote, yeah. That sounds about right for Washington. The Managua earthquake struck two years ago. Was this a real earthquake Christmas chat? Eve, giant cracks opened up in the streets. Sleeping children were crushed in collapsing houses. No chance to escape. No visit from Santa Claus. Thanks to Samosa, the old houses could not even get rebuilt. It was a nightmare. I heard the epicenter was right in the middle of the city. Even today, it's too dangerous to build on top of the fault line. The city center is still in ruins. And to make things worse, Samosa stole the recovery money. We must not fail. We owe it to those who lost their lives. I just don't know, we like, what America got Samosa. from Somoza. Like, what, like I know the he, he may be a son of a bitch, but he's our son of a bitch. But, like, what did they actually get from having Somoza in control? Because it doesn't seem like Somoza, like, would have listened to them about anything. Somoza wouldn't have been like, all right, yeah, sure, I'll do what you want. I, I guess. Did, I, I I, I almost said, did America want communism to not spread so bad that they would just install a guy who, like, doesn't even listen to them? But yes, yes, they would. They would. I don't know why I questioned it. Yes, of course they would. I, I know, I know, I know. I, I don't know why I even momentarily questioned it. I know. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to, I have to go get a package real quick. Uh, I'm going to go get some water and let this play real quick. Very cool to just turn off the program while I'm still playing. Thanks, game. Thankfully, I wasn't like in the middle of a mission or anything, but. Yeah, apparently, dude. One more thing. Now what? It's about sick bay. Naturally, we can use it for the sick or injured like we did with Amanda. But we can't expect people to get better without the proper treatment. Uh-huh. So I figure we'll need a medical team for that. The number of team members and their abilities will determine how quickly the sick and injured heal. They can also monitor everybody's... Well, the real it's it's DSF, right? It's doc it would be Doctor Sans Frontieres, or whatever the uh, French word for doctors is. Maybe that's like medicalists, I don't know. Medicines? Oh, so it would be MSF then. Okay. Have to do all this again, annoyingly. But whatever. Not not that much time. You know what? Actually, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do auto assign. And Lungfish is still in here despite being better at medical. Yep, okay. I didn't know Doctors Without Borders was called MSF anywhere. That's interesting. I did not mean to move you to sick bay. Not mean to 
move you to medical team. It would be very funny to discharge Miller. Sorry, Miller, get out of here. That's, I mean, that is insane, but also it sounds like shit I've been through. Miller is no lungfish, yeah. It's true. All right, let's, let's save. Save the base so it is there. We can make some tortilla chips. Harry, you don't even know what a lungfish is. Don't lie. Your small little brain doesn't even know what a lungfish is. I know you. I know you. <clears throat> The nukes appear to have left the coastal marshes and reached the mountains around Irazu. But without a guide, it's going to be tough tracking those things in the mountains. So we need you to infiltrate one of their bases, a prison facility. I hope nothing's happened to Amanda's brother. I hear you. There may be other Sandinistas held there too. To bring them back safely to MSF, use the Fulton recovery system. I've been there, Vaxi. Sure you know from experience, it's completely harmless. After all, you won't have time to sit there and convince every single one of them to join. One other thing, Snake. Amanda. Those CIA bastards confiscated some of the houses in the village. Chico's got to be inside one of them. Houses, huh? How do I tell which ones? When they took over the houses, they installed new front doors for security purposes. The new doors are blue, with peepholes, so you can see what's inside. Blue doors. Got it. You're getting close to the end of the transport route. Good luck, Snake. Okay, briefing files. I have to listen to these again, but I can go through some of them really quickly. So I hear a man... Boss. Knows so much about lungfish? Nope. You don't know nothing. The year you have a tiny little brain. The year the Cuban Revolution was won, Che visited. That bad. Me soldier types. The time. A man. There are. You're right, boss. I'm always right. There are. No matter what I'm saying, I'm always right. When the. And I know, uh, to prove that point, all I have to do is say or be a good girl and agree with me, and like half of you will. Enemy. We know there. Enemy. 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 Change your username to good girl. Uh, somehow have uh, all streamers greet you. Hello, uh, good good girl. <laughs> Welcome to chat. Panama. Panama does. All right, Amanda. Wait, what are data files? Oz's tape between two women. Number of warheads detected by the Dew Line. Fifty-seven. Number of Mervs included. Minimum 29. That's the boss. 35. 
Oh, Target that's the region. that's the thing United Pause brought States. in. East Coast. Estimated time of re-entry. 2048 Zulu. President selected attack option? Unknown. The president is dead? Unknown. Communication has been lost. I select Offutt Air Force Base as my target. Offutt? But that's a U.S. base. What on earth do you mean? Based on the projected number of incoming warheads, Washington, D.C. is presumed destroyed. The president is most likely dead. The U.S. government's control lost. I realize that. So why not retaliate? With both sides destroyed, global anarchy would ensue. Recovery would be... difficult. The United States nuclear strike capability must therefore be neutralized in order to preserve the communist bloc, where government remains largely intact. You're siding with the enemy. You can't be serious. Tell me, how do you define enemy? There are no borders in this world. The same conclusion again and again. Where is the flaw? All right, huh. let's try something else. Commencing test. Understood. You're crossing a suspension bridge. Is this my mission? Yes, your destination is the other side. The bridge is wide enough for only one person to pass at a time. A man is approaching from the opposite side. He's carrying a gun. I shoot him. Suppose he's your husband. I shoot him. In self-defense? To spare him the grief. One must die, and one must live. Yeah, that Next sounds like question. the boss, all right. Your father asks you to fix the roof and mow the lawn. When you climb the ladder onto the roof, the ladder is taken away. I fix the roof. And when you're finished? I jump down. You'll break more than bones at this height. I see no need to change my decision. I have not finished mowing the lawn. I must remain loyal to the mission. Next. There is a snake in the bushes. It is poisonous. I need you to get rid of it. I chase it back to its nest. You can't. The snake's too vicious. It's already killed many people. Hmm. I chase it away. It will bite you unless you kill it. Go home. Kill me. Kill me now. Why not kill the snake? Your mission is to get rid of it. Is this what you call loyalty? All right, Patty. I assumed maybe it was what a joke or something, to? so I, uh... Country? Ideology? Feelings? I... Uh, uh, I assumed it was like I... a joke or something, but, uh, that's why I didn't ban you I outright, but, uh... Myself. It's a hell of a first message, I'll just say that. Well then, the boss seems like she's doing well. The boss seems like she is doing well, don't you think, chat? Don't... I thought. I'm sure when we meet her, she'll be just fine. General... Uh, because the boss is definitely yes. not brainwashed at all, smile. The boss is definitely not being brainwashed by another woman and her uh, emotions are breaking through when uh, it comes to snake smile. It couldn't be anything like that smile. They definitely didn't recover her body and bring her back to life and hypnotize her uh, uh, to make her the, uh, uh, the perfect soldier who cannot disobey an order even uh, when the emotions come into play smile. We are Sandinistas. The heirs of General Sandino's will. Mm, Sandino, the father of modern guerrilla warfare. To you, maybe. To us, he's more like a real father. That why you named yourselves after him? Of course. Ah. La Frente Sandinista Red de Liberación Nacional. Says, the Sandinista oh. National Liberation Front is named in his honor. We share the general's goal to take back our country's freedom in his day from America. In ours, from the despot Samosa. Mm, times have changed, but the song remains the same. Patria libre o morir. That is our slogan. El Che used to say the same thing, you know. 
If you had been like a, a, an account just the made or just followed or something, I probably would have banned you. No. But given that you uh, have been following since 2023, no. I have it's to assume it was just a uh, badly timed or badly worded joke. Lives. So we are sick of living that's why in you got a uh, that's why you got a, 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 a less harsh you never punishment. Know if your neighbor is snitching on you. But don't worry, you're good. You look like a lurker, so don't worry, you're fine. Yeah, the Cuban Revolution started out like that too. We are few in number, but we will win. Victoria o muerte. For a revolutionary, there is no other fate. A new chatter makes an un unclear comment about anti-white racism. What is your response? I shoot them. Augusto no, I'm Cesar Sandino, general and I jump off the of roof. <laughs> 50 years ago, conflict broke out between the political parties of Nicaragua. The U.S. Marines intervened in the name of restoring order. The only one who refused to listen to their call for reconciliation was General Santino. Huh. One man against the Marines. That takes guts. The general wasn't a professional soldier. Neither were his compadres. And immediately reload the, the same. Equipment. No! He used a to his advantage, lurking in the fields and hills of Nicaragua and using surprise attacks to harass the Marines. I know. I've read plenty of textbooks on guerrilla warfare. In the end, he drove them out. He was truly a role model for us. Yeah, but that was the 30s. Didn't the Depression have something to do with it? It takes cash to wage war. Perhaps. But there is no denying what the general accomplished. The sure people does, buddy. hailed him as the general de hombres libres. The general of free men. They loved him. And then, he was assassinated by Anastasio Somoza Garcia, commander of La Guardia. The father of the current Somoza. Somoza had the Americans backing. That is the way things were. The general may be dead, and the times may have changed, but his will lives on inside each of us. We are the sons and daughters of General Sandino. I had water somewhere. Where did it go? Throw the cup away? Alright, where the fuck did my water go? I'm never getting through this game. That's where my water went. I got water, put it on the counter beside me in the kitchen, and then did not come back with it. House of Decline is a comic person. I did not know they came out as trans, but that's cool. Hey, how's the watermelon business these days? Not bad. I hear the compass back home are hanging in there too. Good to hear. You know our nickname. I'm impressed. No wonder they call you boss. <laughs> you used to hide your weapons in hollowed out watermelons. Smuggle them right past the National Guard. You even transported pineapple grenades that way. The name caught on among sympathizers in the region and... What are you talking about? <clears throat> they call us watermelon sellers because the general's name sounds like the word for watermelon. Sandia. Really? Si. Damn it, cuz. Cause, what are you doing? Cause, oh, that's emb that's so embarrassing for him. A revolution to bring peace to your country, huh? No matter how much we fight, peace never gets any closer, does it? I do not like it, but it is the only way. If we do not fight back, they'll just keep exploiting us. You want proof? Look at our country's history. That was revolution good. is a means and not an end. I know. When the revolution is victorious, I want my country to be at peace. But to bring peace, we have to first eliminate that traitorous scum. Uh, it's an old saying. We make war that we may live in peace. Who said it? Aristotle. You know your history. I had a good teacher. It has always been like this. 
people making the same mistakes sure over and over. And still, all we can do is fight. I hear you. If you've got a goal, you've got to keep moving forward. I noticed you called Che Guevara El Che. Not just us. Everyone in these parts does. Che was always his nickname. It does not feel right to call him by his last name. I was shocked the first time I saw you. You look so much like him. Huh. I look like El Che, huh? Sort of. Not in the face. It's more the way you carry yourself. I guess Che's a hero to the Sandinistas, too. Of course. The FSLN was formed in the spirit of the ideologies championed by El Che and Fidel. Mm, Fidel. Fidel Castro. So, you were trying to bring the Cuban Revolution to Nicaragua. Well, we were. But Cuba isn't what it once was. Not since El Che left. El Che was a true revolutionary. He fought and died for the people. He worked harder than anybody, and he was a righteous man. Even as a minister of Cuba, he gave up his weekends to work on the farms and public works. As a volunteer, no less. Yeah, I've heard the stories. But when you think about it, wasn't it that obsession that did him in? How do you mean? We can't all be supermen. He thought the ideals he applied in Cuba would work in Bolivia. But he failed to win converts and the support of the peasants. And it cost him his life. Maybe. Maybe you are right. But at least he did not steal from those peasants, no matter how hard things got. I feel yeah, like he I has a... There's plenty of guerrillas out there who'd rob their own people to feed their revolutions. I feel like if Kojima has a complicated relationship with Che. The Sandinistas would find the will to fight. Personally speaking. Because, like... A lot of this... A lot of this is, like, pretty, like, praising him, but a lot of this is also, like pointing out flaws and things that he did. Like, it's not just pure, like, unadulterated praise. Uh, there's a lot of, like, hmm, uh, uh, Che is, uh, Che is, like, you know, he was a complicated guy. He wasn't all great. He wasn't all, uh, uh, bad either. He was, you know, he was, he was, he was, he was a character. You called that giant chopper an hombre But he nuevo. definitely did his research See, beforehand. It means new man. Or something, new man. somebody on the writer's team There was did. nobody piloting that thing. It must be controlled by machine. Yeah, it seems that way. No human being could pull off those crazy maneuvers. But it's not Disco crazy. Elysium's great. It's smart. It sings, too. When we first saw it, one of your men said, Pilot must be an hombre nuevo. Me? I do not like the name. Why? Hombre nuevo was what El Che was striving to become. What all of us who joined the Sandinistas strive to become. That's why. An hombre nuevo is one who finds joy in virtue and voluntary labor. It makes me furious to see that name given to such a monster. I'll bet. Chico called that helicopter El Calibre. Our name for the hummingbird. You saw how that chopper moved, how it hovered in midair like a hummingbird. Uh, a hell of a lot bigger than a bird, though. True. But better than Hombre Nuevo, don't you think? When you get kidnapped by El Colibri, it's all over. They take you to a prison camp and torture you until you snitch on your compas. That's what took Chico. They have no mercy. Once you talk, they toss you out like trash. I knew this, and still I could not save Chico. If he cannot be saved, I will do what must be done. Don't write him off like that. Sometimes you have to survive, even if it means sacrificing your honor. I'll get him back. I promise. The helicopter thing was so cool. Oh, just wait. The land in our he is like he's a, yeah, us, he's a thoughtful and, and compassionate man. How so? He's an interesting an guy. Coast, he's not just like a gruff mercenary and, and that's it. It is coffee. I guess in that way, it is not so different from here. Plantations. Almost all the bananas and coffee are sold as exports. The landlords keep the money for themselves, leaving precious little to the farmers. Worse, the biggest landowners in the country are so Yeah, the drone stuff scamming. comes back in a big way. But so it does bring in foreign currency. I doubt even that, at least for bananas. The plantations are owned by American corporations. 
The bananas are processed in factories on the plantations and exported to America from private ports. It's like having little American enclaves along the coast of Nicaragua. But the farmers have no choice but to go work there. Es ridículo. The people have to take their land back. It is one of the things we are fighting for. Land back, land back, land back. Tell me, when exactly did you realize your dad was working with the KGB? About six months ago. Up until then, we only had beans to eat. And then suddenly, we started to get eggs and flour. Our bullet shortage simply disappeared. How'd he get the cocaine? Ask the KGB. All we did here was process it. Coca plants grow here, too. But to my knowledge, almost all of the stuff we used came from Colombia and Bolivia. It's processed in a factory and then shipped to ports on the Caribbean Sea. Where does it go after that? I never thought about it. I mean, I did not want to think about it. Uh, the biggest cocaine consumer in the world is the United States. I'm guessing they smuggle it in on vessels disguised as fishing boats. Wait. La CIA uses that route, too. Are you telling me they're selling cocaine to their own country? Uh, looks that way. Those bastards are turning their own children into junkies? Are they insane? No. Just afraid. Afraid of a communist Central America. Amanda, when did you join up with the Sandinistas? About a year ago, when I went into the mountains with mi viejo and his group. I thought your dad was with the FSLN from the start. No. He fought alongside General Sandino. But after that, he retired for a while. He found a job, got a wife and a house, and raised us kids. Then one day, some Sandinista students came by. And he felt the old fire in his belly. Something like that. All he did was help them escape from La Guardia, though. But then La Guardia showed up. They broke into our house. Oh, the and old began fire in his belly. What a weird questions. way to say that. I'm guessing he kept his mouth shut. No matter how hard they hit him, our house was trashed. After that, he was on their list. They harassed him day and night. It was only then that he gave himself over to the Sandinistas. He kept it hidden from us at first, so we would not get hurt. Mm. He sounds like a good father. He was. But my mother got fed up with it. She left us. I don't blame her. Why didn't you go with her? It was a hard decision for sure. But like my father, I could not let Samosa get away with his crimes. But most of all... Chico. He is too much like his papa. One way or the other, he was going to stay. And I could not leave him behind. Soon enough, La Guardia drove us out. And we found ourselves in the mountains. It just kind of happened. Wow. For an accidental revolutionary, you sure put up a hell of a fight. The mountains make men into warriors. The training is harsh, but it brings us that much closer to being hombres nuevos. Chico couldn't ask for a better sister. I can see why they picked you to be Commandante. I like Amanda a lot. She's really good. When I was little, I came down with malaria. Unlucky for me, it was the bad kind. I was in a daze the whole time. And at one point they said I was not going to make it. Mm. Malarial encephalopathy. I hear it's pretty common in tropical malaria cases. Even today, my memory sometimes gets a little fuzzy. Since then, I've had this fear of mosquitoes. When I hear them buzzing nearby, I get jumpy. Ah, uh, that explains the chain smoking. See, I thought it might help keep the mosquitoes away, just a little. Maybe it is all in my head. You're the same way, right? Oh, uh, I will say this. I prefer a cigar over mosquitoes. <laughs> Me too. I've got to hand it to you. It takes guts to conquer your fear like that and live a gorilla's life in the wild. It is nothing. El Che did not let asthma stop him from leading the revolution. Compared to him, I am no hero. I'm sorry to hear about your dad. Thank you for saying that. Mi viejo was the leader of the Frente. He was the last of the generation that knew General Sandino. He saw the general's exploits firsthand as a boy. 
He would tell us stories about it all the time and about how the general was assassinated. Did you know he was getting money from the KGB? I had some idea, but I did not have the courage to confront him about it. I know it was a painful decision for him to make. Uh, I can imagine. Yes, my father was a good man. I loved him as a daughter, and his soldiers believed in him. Thanks to him, La Frente held together even in the worst of times. I don't know if I can ever fill his shoes. That's certainly a lot to put on yourself, I think. Chico's 12, right? <laughs> right. Isn't he a little short for his age? Malnourishment. Food is hard to come by when you're running around in the jungle. <laughs> He's got quite an appetite. I know. I didn't want him to come in the first place. But there was no one to take him in. I had no choice but to look after him. Don't be so hard on yourself. Sometimes it's better for a kid to be with his family than far away in a safe place. Hmm. Thank you. Promise me this, though. When your fight is over, make sure he gets a proper education. Give him a chance to be something other than a gorilla. It's not too late to teach him something other than fighting. Okay. I promise. You know what book Chico really likes? The World Encyclopedia of Mysterious Creatures. The Loch Ness Monster, the Yeti... UMAs. Yeah, I know. He's still so much like a boy. I worry about him. He'll be fine. I know plenty of grown men who still go crazy over UMAs. Are... are you serious? Yeah, cryptids are cool, Amanda. Don't be weird. Cryptids are dope. Who doesn't love a good cryptid? Come on, Amanda. Cryptids are cool. All right. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't see. Is there anything in here? Oh. They have specific things to say for this mission. I forgot. Costa Rica's forests are more diverse than you might expect. Not all of them are me. tropical I do. forests. Costa Rica is close to the equator, it is true. But it is also very mountainous. Yeah, I see what you mean. Go up 4,000 feet in elevation and the temperature drops more than 7 degrees. There are basically three types of forests. The lowlands are covered in tropical rainforests, the highlands by tropical cloud forests, and areas where there is a dry season have tropical dry forests. Okay, what is a tropical dry forest? Areas with a distinct dry season, like the Pacific coast, have tropical dry forests. During the dry season, the trees drop their leaves. It gives you a clearer view, but at the same time, there are fewer places to hide. So be careful. Sounds dull. It is not really. A lot of trees flower during the dry season. That's just what Paz does. Favorite. That's Terra Strong, yeah. Leaf. It has these amazingly vivid yellow flowers. Costa Rica has several active volcanoes. Irasu being one of them. That's where Camino de Lava comes from, huh? The tropical dry forest. Yeah, it's because she wants everybody to be paused, like her. They lose their leaves in so the dry she hates vaccines. Tropical forests are not all thick jungles. A few of them even have cacti. Some of Costa Rica's greatest assets are its diverse forests and natural land. <clears throat> Costa Rica got its first real railroads up and running about a hundred years ago. Their primary purpose was to move coffee harvested in the Central Basin to the Caribbean coast. They built railroads here a hundred years ago? That's impressive. It was even more difficult than you would imagine. Later, they started using the railroads for shipping bananas too. There still might You're be not some gonna miss branch much. Go lines get a birdie. around here. I'm around all day, every day, basically forever. Aldea de los Despiertos means Village of the Awake. <laughs> Weird name. The area is littered with coffee fields, and there is a factory nearby. The villagers are fans of coffee, so... Nah, they don't get much sleep, huh? They've got a sense of humor, all right. I cannot believe they would take over a place like this and use it as a prison. It is unforgivable for both la CIA and the thugs they employ. All the villagers wanted was to live in peace. What gives the CIA the right to crush them like that? 
They don't care about anyone's rights but their own. It's just the way some people are. You really think so? Don't worry. It just gives me the right to teach them a lesson. Round all day? Charlotte. <laughs> Amanda, how do I get to the prison camp? First, head up the narrow mountain path. The path will gradually open up and you'll come to a fork in the road. Watch yourself up there. You'll be lower than the surrounding terrain. So if you head down the middle, you'll make for an easy target. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. Take the leftward path to reach the prison camp. What can you tell me about the prison camp? Well, it used to be a village until they took control of it. It's a maze of paths, so watch out for soldiers on patrol. <laughs> I'll be sure not to stop and say hi. Use the paths carefully, and you should be able to stay out of view. Where are they holding Chico? One of the houses, most likely. You can peek through the doors. Just press the action button when the icon appears. You could also listen to any sounds inside for clues. Good idea. Guards will still be on the move while you're looking inside. Make sure you don't get caught and snake. I know. I'll bring him back. Thank you. I know I can count on you. She wants Chico back so bad. It's like totally fair. Like I get why. It's just like, it's, it's almost like sad. Oh, I should have changed my loadout. I have a rocket launcher and a uh, silence pistol and that's it. Whoops. Yeah, just walking in with my uh my rocket launcher. Just gonna You know what? Nah. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yeah, listen. With the exception of uh with the exception of uh of of Princess who was stuck here forever, none of you are none none of you need to like structure your lives around me. I would say Joey too, but Joey already does, so easy. You scoot back out the way you came? <laughs> I don't know, maybe actually. I am showing it frogs. You are, and they're really good. The they're fat the little frogs, I love them. But no, really though, you, you guys have lives to lead. You don't need to be here. Uh... Yeah, I'm not letting you leave. Um, I, uh, you guys have lives to lead. Don't feel like you're gonna miss stuff. There will be VODs uploaded. I'm getting them uploaded as quickly as I can. It's just, I'm tired at the end of the day. And like, frankly, I'm, I'm tired at the end of the day. So, so here are my options. Uh, do I at least have my analyzer? I do. Here are my options, chat, because I'm tired at the end of the day. I either, uh, make the, um, I make the, uh, the, 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 um, ooh, rank C. I make the, um, the, 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 the thumbnails after stream and I'm tired and they're like, uh, uh, they're, they're not that good. Um, um, but you know, I, I make them then or I make them on stream and you guys get to watch, but I think either way, like, I think that's going to be a boring experience for you. So like, I make them as quickly as I can, but you know, it's just not always feasible. Subject British woman collector, helicopter. I can't help it. The fat bis bitches, Marseal Dunmeshi, so true. But yeah, VODs are getting uploaded as fast as I can get them in, but. I agree. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. It's just this and Metal Gear Solid 5 and that's it. That's the only ones I know of where you can do this and it's great. That basin will leave you completely exposed. If I were the enemy, I'd position snipers there. Better be careful.
sniper. Better be careful if you don't want your head blown off. You won't get up there alone. With some help, maybe? I heard something. Can't be imagining things. Huh? huh? Can't be imagining things. Huh? I just heard footsteps. Don't know how he didn't see me, but sure. I shouldn't have faulted him. I didn't even know what, what he was. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Got your ass. Nope. Oh, you don't get to go with me, sorry. How about you? Do you get to go with me? You sure do. <laughs> I love the prisoners being so happy at being rescued. The shouting. Woo! know if I can get that guy up there. He's S. Oh. Oh, that's mean. Is there any way to get up there? I couldn't do it even if I had like a co-op partner. If I... No, I think it's just I'm impossible. That's so fucked up. I might be able to come back from behind. Evil world, fucked up evil world. Very important video to watch. Did you do it on the card? I saw one of the cards got redeemed. Chico's in one of these houses. You've got to find him, Snake. Um, okay, well, you will have to wait until I'm out of this mission because you can't pause these, but then I will. I guess they're fucking or showering or something.
Supposedly, the houses being used to hold prisoners have been fitted with blue doors. Not this one. Somebody's sleeping in there. Uh. See if any of you are worth uh, faultoning. E. I might. I might just kill you, frankly. You suck so bad. I might just kill you. Joking? I know I saw something. Bowie, thank you for buying packs. Maybe you can't jerk it in your sleep, but frankly, I can. Guess I'm more powerful than you. Chico, is that you? That's right. A war photographer. Huh? I thought you were here for the birds. Yeah, um, the birds of the battle. Whoa! Is that chess? Can I see it? Wow, the same kind of chair used! You can't keep it, kid. Here, have these instead. Those photos! Huh. Oh no, Amanda! She's safe. Don't worry. You sure? So Chico is a little uh, a little Che head. He loves Che. He loves El Che. It's just a broken leg. You got any cigarettes? Any cigar, huh? Hey! Not for kids. Chico, do you know where they took the cargo? Cargo? What cargo? Let me rephrase that. How do they get stuff from the coast up here? Oh, that I can tell you. When the cargo gets to the harbor, they first send it up the marshes on a barge. Then, they load it onto a jungle train past the banana plantation and transport it by rail. The train stops here. When it gets to the train terminal past the coffee plantation, they reload it again. This time onto a truck, which disappears into a tunnel heading toward the mountains. Disappears? Chico. What's on the other side of that tunnel? Nobody knows. None of our compas ever got close enough. He's protected by a spirit. A uh, spirit? Yeah, a giant monster. El Basilisco. Oh. The king of snakes. No, 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 really, I saw it. I was camping up there one day, and just as I was waking up around dawn, I heard this loud noise. I opened my eyes and saw an enormous shadow. Must have been 30 bada at least. It was walking on legs as big as trees. Mm. Where did you see it? At the terminal near the tunnel. But I only saw it that one time. What exactly were you doing there? I, uh, well, I wonder what that could be. Got into a fight. And you just happened to go camping. You know, their train should be arriving at the place I saw El Basilisco right about now. Is it far? No, really. Go past the coffee plantation, and it'll be to the north. 
What are you chasing? Hmm. Something that could keep the world in balance. Or destroy it. Huh? I heard that place was a narcotics plant before those guys took it over. Yeah, as soon as I'm done with this cutscene, I'll be but ready. You already knew that, didn't you? Huh. Look, I get it. Even oh, Molly, you just missed a huge lore drop. I'm sorry. Still. Probably the biggest one in the game. Kid like you to swallow. You're damn right it is. The road they use to transport stuff is the same I'm kidding, by the way. I'm kidding. The I'm kidding. They sold the drugs to the Norte Americanos and used the profits to fund the army. They tried to keep it hidden from me. Is that why you went camping? Yes. I managed to sneak into the plant a few times and they tried to set it on fire. Everyone Aww. treats me like a child. I, I I couldn't stand it anymore. I'm not a kid, I'm 12. Good Poor Chico. Chico. I, I love Chico. All the characters in this games are Chico. so good. Growing up means choosing how you're gonna live your life. Seriously, you every character in this game is so, so, so good. Care about behind. Parents, family, your homeland. Mi viejo. Papa. Chico, look at the photos. They're all so real. Mi viejo. He's gone. But there's one thing you don't ever leave behind. Your memories. Keep them safe. You want to get out of here, Chico? I do, but... Come back with me. Your sister's waiting for you. I can't go back. I can't face everybody. <laughs> you told them where your compas are. I see. Chico accidentally, uh, he, could, he couldn't handle the torture and he, uh... He, ra he ratted on his people. Pain gets the better of us all. They tortured a 12-year-old until he ratted out his uh, his compadres. Poor Chico, man. I wish I was dead. Hmm. Okay, then. I'll put you out of your misery. What? Any last words? Oh. Shoot, you're only going to kill a man. I just wasted a bullet. Don't waste your life. Listen to me, Chico. You died here today. You understand? You're hombre nuevo, a new man. Now, give that new life to me. Huh? Fight with me, little soldier. Show me how strong you really are. <laughs> Dry your tears, then promise me one thing. No smoking until you get older. Remember, Real heroes are never as polished as the legends that surround them. You got it, boss. Uh, snake is fine. What's that? <laughs> I've seen people misinterpret that scene so much, and it makes me so mad. People are just like, oh, snakes and snakes just getting a child soldier. Isn't that fucked up? No, you fucking no. That's not what he's doing. He's treating he's treating this kid who is in a war zone and like who, you know, who wants to help people in the war zone like the adult he's trying to be. But he's also steer, still very like if he didn't have that line about like no smoking until you're older, I could see that. But that like with that line of like no smoking until you're older, it's very clear he's still going to be an adult here. He's still like not going to let this kid like pick up a gun and start shooting people. But, you know. Chico had all this guilt and all this like pain in his in himself and hate for himself for like doing this this thing that is bad and is going to hurt people. And, you know, Snake metaphorically killed him so that he could start again fresh so he could be there with his compadres and try to, you know, like help liberate his people like.
it's such a good moment. Snake's not a good guy. Snake is not the good guy here. I think I think this I think military sense frontiers has made it clear. Snake is not the good guy here, but he's not a bad guy either. He's a guy who's misinterpreting someone's will, but he's like he's got a lot of heart and he's got a lot of empathy for people who are struggling in situations that like they don't deserve to be in in the first place, especially if they're soldiers. God, I love this game so much. Fuck, I love this game so much. That scene always gets me, dude. I was like, I was like tearing up. It's a good scene. It's a really good scene. Snake, Chico made it over. Snake! Chico, you made it. Made it? Don't give me that. You say you're gonna give me a new life, and then you nearly kill me. <laughs> I take it you didn't enjoy the trip. What's the big idea? Dragging me off in a balloon. Exactly, exactly. At least you got a nice view. Or are you afraid? Like I... it's it's not like um I just wish you would explain it to me first. Would you have agreed to go if I did? Thank you for saving us, Snake. It's not like uh it's not like Chico would like you know be like like he Snake would be like No, sorry, you can't be a child soldier and then uh Yes, I know. You're right. I shouldn't. Amanda, you're coming back after your leg heals. Hold on, I'll right? wait till this is done. Of course. We still have work to do. We, huh? Are you sure you've got Chico's future in mind when you say that? What do you mean? We're sworn to our father's cause, to helping the revolution succeed. Revolution or no revolution, you pick up a gun and sooner or later you're going to hell. Are you prepared for that? I am. If the alternative is giving up the country I love, I'll take hell. Really? God, they're so well, cool. Then, you're going to have to stop treating Chico like a brother and start treating him like a soldier. They all have I such conviction. I'm not even sure I agree with the conviction, but like Welcome they just have home. such conviction. It's like hard to not be impressed. Shoot. You find any prisoners from El Frente, you bring him back alive. Cuz hmm. you're trying to make amends for talking. Well, not just that. Because they're compas. All right. But first, I've got to catch up to that cargo. I'll do whatever I can to help. Call me if there's anything you need to know about the area. And... And what? Let me know if you encounter any wildlife you've never seen before. Never seen before? What, like that basilisco you were talking about? I'm talking about UMAs. UMAs? You know, like ancient dinosaurs or, or legendary monsters. One day, I'm going to be a hunter. Is that right? Okay, sure. If you want to know more, I'm happy to tell you. Right. I'll be in touch, Chico. Okay, Snake. The enemy's cargo is headed for the next outpost, a rail terminal. Chico says no one's ever set foot past there. Their main base is probably on the other side of that tunnel. Unless we catch those spears before reaching it, they'll be in enemy hands. You've got to stop them. Hurry, Snake. Boss, I had an idea. Listen to this. Let me guess. You want to start running ads in the local gossip rags? Please, what do you take me for? I thought that with all the new guys we've got, we should get an intel team going. We'd send agents around the country to scout out different locations. That way we're better prepared, no matter where we end up. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. They could probably develop recon equipment for us too. We could also have them transport goods and direct the mother base support strikes. You can send an item to a co-op teammate from the delivery menu. Oh well, yeah. No, I don't know. I, I, I love all the characters in this a lot. I love Chico a lot. I just, I love, uh, I love everybody in this game a lot. Uh, and, um, okay. Um, I love Chico. I love all the characters. I love everybody in this and uh, I uh, 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 Like I really appreciate the way that Tri or Chico gets treated in this Because like the thing is like it's not like snake was gonna stop him from being effectively a child soldier You know what I mean? Like, Chico is dead set on, like, helping out his country because of his father and his sister and everybody else around him, like, dying and being this stuff, right? 
I get in variety show voice. Um, it's not like Chico was ever gonna stop being a child soldier, like, uh, uh, irregardless of what happens. But at the same time, um, uh, 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 at the same time, like, if you can put him into a support structure where he feels like he's helping out the revolution without actually putting a gun in his hand, that's good. That's, that's good for somebody like him, you know? I think this is, yeah, this is stuff sent by other players. That's all multiplayer stuff that I can't interact with. Um, save. Okay, time to get ready for content warning. <laughs> 